Yoga is not a substitute for medical attention or treatment. Don't perform any postures to the extent of pain or strain. Always listen to your body and meet yourself with kindness and compassion. We'll begin seated. So we are going to do a ladder flow today. And we've done ladder flows before. So ladder flow just means um, we'll do our warm up and then we'll do one sequence and um, we will repeat the sequence and we'll add on intensity and we'll add on new poses every round. Um, so we're going three rounds and we'll add on poses as we flow. So starting off in a seat of your choice, just take a moment to maybe pull the flesh out underneath your sit bones and then try and sit up nice and tall. You can rest your hands on your knees or in your lap. And then let's take a deep breath in through the nose. And an open mouth breath out, exhale. Let's do that for two more times. Big breath in. And then open, exhale out. One more time, see if you can inhale a little bit longer. Hold the breath a little bit longer. And exhale a little bit longer. Eventually your eyes are already closed. If not, see if that's something that you want to explore. Then go ahead and close your eyes. And just come back to that natural, normal rhythm of breath, that nurturing inhale and that releasing exhale. And before we begin, we're always looking to transition away from whatever has happened off our mats in the day this far. So as we tune into our breath, we just take the opportunity to allow for the body to become still, allow for the mind to release and relax all those worrying, stressful thoughts, knowing that for sure when we step off our mat, we can catch back on and continue to worry, to stress. <laughs> so no problem in letting all of that go for now. And seeing if you can just step onto your mat, the four corners of your mat, without any accumulated physical, mental, or emotional weight or stress. And as we sit here, maybe you can feel that your facial muscles are still tensed. Maybe you can feel a little tension in your toes and fingers. And if that's the case, see if you can just allow for a little bit more softness to wash over your entire body, head to toe. And with your eyes closed on your next inhale, turn your head to the right. On your exhale, bring the head back to center. Inhale, turn your head to the left. Exhale, bring it back to the center. Inhale, take your head up, so chin up, gaze back. And exhale, chin to the chest. Inhale, bring your head back to center, keep it there for the exhale. And then this time, inhale, turn your head to the left. Exhale, back to center. Inhale, over to the right. Exhale, back to center. Inhale, lift your head, chin goes up. And exhale, chin to chest. Stay there. Keep your head down with the chin to the chest. And then interlace your hands just at the back of your head where your hairline meets the skin. And without pulling on the head, just allow the elbows to drop down towards the floor, adding a little bit additional weight onto the back of the head. Shoulders away from the ears. See if you can really breathe into that space that we try to create in the upper back body around the shoulder girdle. One more breath in here. Good, keep the hands as they are. Inhale, lift your gaze, straighten your spine and then pull your elbows back. Think of cat-cow movements now. As you exhale, again, chin to chest, elbows pointing to the floor, round and curl in. And then inhale, lift, open, expand your collarbones, pull the shoulder blades together, elbows open out wide. One more of those. Exhale, rounding in, curling chin to chest. 
and then inhale, lift the gaze, create space across the front side of your body and heart. Beautiful. Come back into a neutral spine, reach both arms up overhead, and we're just going to go side to side, right hand down, left arm up overhead, and then inhale, both arms up, left hand down, right arm up overhead, getting into that side body for a few moments, and then again, swaying over to the right, and back to the left. We'll do one more round each side. Back to the right, maybe stay there, pause, see if you can wiggle into your fingers, rotate into your, uh, your wrist. Take another deep breath into the left side body. And then inhale, come up and sway over to the left. Same here, pause, maybe crunch your fingers, open and close. See if you can dial that right shoulder a little bit more up. Take a last breath deep into the side of your ribs on the right. And then inhale, take both arms up overhead. And we're gonna go into the same dynamic movement for twisting, left hand to right knee, right fingertips behind. Inhale, both arms up overhead. And exhale, right hand onto left knee, twist to your left. Inhale, take both arms up overhead. And exhale, twist to your right. Good, inhale, arms up. Exhale, twist to your left. Inhale, both arms reach up. This time, as you exhale to the right, twist and pause. Stay for an additional inhale. See if the crown of the head can reach up a little further. And if your torso can then twist and rotate a little deeper on the exhale. Beautiful. Inhale, both arms reach up overhead. Exhale, last time, twist to the left. Stay and pause here. Use that oppositional force, maybe between your right hand and the left knee. Inhale, lifts the crown of the head upwards. Exhale, allows you to go into your twist a little deeper. Fantastic. Inhale, reach both arms up overhead. And then exhale, hands to the heart. Nice. Let's come into tabletop pose. So set your hands down. Slide your knees back underneath the hips. And then just for one round, we're going to do barrel cat and cow. So we're just going to do like a little washing machine movement, dropping the belly down and then swinging it over to the right and then up over to the left. So kind of like a circular cat and cow. Just one more time clockwise. And then change the direction. Go the other way for three rounds. Last time, good, awesome. And then bring your knees and toes together, tuck the toes under and come into that toe squat so that we can now engage a little bit through the soles of the feet. And at the same time, we're gonna interlace all the fingers and then just begin to little circle, to make little circles with the wrist. So just warming up into the wrist here a little bit. Circle the other way, that's it. Good. And then just make like a little wave with your hand. So still working with the wrist, just kind of like working gently, bringing your hands up and down. Awesome. And then take your arms up overhead again and punch or open and close your fingers really quick for 10, nine, eight. Shoulders away from the ear. See if you can go faster. Six, five. Close your hands, open them quick, quick, quick. Three, two, one, and exhale, arms down. Just shake your arms out all the way. Fantastic. Let's come back into tabletop and straight into your first plank pose. Setting up in plank pose, we're gonna go ahead and then lift the left leg up and take the left knee over and tap it to the right triceps. And then set the leg back down to the floor. Right leg lifts. Right knee, left triceps, extend the right leg back, set it down, take a last breath here, and then drop your knees, chest and chin to the ground, find your first cobra, inhale, find that space again for the front side of the body, elbows hugging in, and then exhale, downward facing dog, big breath in through the nose. Bend the knees, push the chest back in down dog and exhale out. Fantastic. Let's inhale, lift the heels up and then swivel both heels over to the right side. So your left sole of the foot should entirely connect to the mat. 
bend deep into the right knee and then see if you can peel the left side of your ribs open. You should feel a nice stretch again in that left side body. Maybe look out underneath your left armpit. One more breath in. Good. And then inhale, bring both heels up. Take them over to the left side. Right foot connects to the mat. The left heel can stay lifted. Left knee is bent. And then see if you can peel your nose underneath your right armpit. Really, really opening up into the right ribs. One more breath in here. And then exhale, come back into your downward facing dog. Fantastic. Walk your hands all the way back to the feet and then find your halfway lift flat back here. And as you exhale, fold down. Let's twist again, right hand underneath the face, right knee bends, inhale, lift the left arm all the way up. You can stay here or you could go ahead and place the left hand onto your lower back or even hook it all the way around to the right hip crease finding a bit more opening into the left front shoulder. Let's take one more breath wherever you've chosen to be. Good, and then release, left arm reaches up. We'll switch side, bending a little bit into both knees, both hands down to the ground. Take a flat back, inhale. Exhale to fold, left fingertips onto the ground, left knee bends, right leg extends as the right arm reaches up. Try and see if you can stack left and right arm directly on top of each other, having the head in between. And then take your right hand maybe back into that bind or keep it lifted or release it onto the lower back. One more time, really inhale, pull that right shoulder up. And then release, right arm reaches straight up hands both back down to the ground and walk yourself all the way back out into your plank pose. Fantastic. From here, let's go ahead and lower knees, chest, chin to the ground. Inhale to your cobra and exhale to downward facing dog. Inhale again, forward into your plank. Knees, chest, chin, drop, elbows, hug in. Next vinyasa, we'll do one more after that. Inhale, open the heart. Exhale, back to down dog, getting the shoulders nice and warm. Last round, inhale, come forward into your plank. Lower down. Inhale, into your back bend. And then downward facing dog. Fantastic. Let's take... A last deep inhale here in down dog before we continue. And then as we continue, lift the heels, come up onto your toes, lift the left leg back and up. And then go ahead and bring the left knee to tap the left elbow. Come into that hovering plank. Fantastic. Drop the left knee down to the left wrist, back up to the elbow, down to the wrist, back up to the elbow like an elevator. One more time, down to the wrist up to the elbow, swing the left knee over to tap the right elbow, back to the left, and three-legged dog. Ooh, big breath in. And as you set that left foot down, bring it across to the outside of that right foot. So crossing the feet behind the ankles, that pinky toes can touch on both feet and connect. So you should get a nice, beautiful stretch, a deeper stretch into that back of the left leg. The right knee can bend, the right heel can lift off the mat, but try to press down through the entire sole of that left foot. Let's take one last breath here. And then release back into your downward facing dog. Same on the other side. Right leg lifts back and up. And then right knee, right elbow tap. Good. Lower it down to the right wrist, back up to the elbow, down to the wrist, up to the elbow, once more, down to the wrist, up to the elbow, swing the right knee over to the left elbow, back to the right, inhale, three-legged dog. And then again, cross-legged here, bring the pinky toes to connect on the outer left side of the foot, press the right heel down, press your chest back, see if you can get a nice relaxation into the neck, peel the nose back towards that left knee, one more breath in here, deep stretch for that right calf, backside of the right leg. And then release into your downward facing dog. Beautiful. Look forward, step, walk, or hop yourself to the top of the mat. Find your forward fold. Halfway lift flat back. 
and then exhale, fold. Beautiful. From here, we'll begin our first sequence of the ladder. So we're going to come into chair pose. See if you can sit nice and low into your chair. Lift your arms up. Maybe you can even lift your toes. Relax the shoulders away. Slight turn of those pinky fingers inwards. One more breath here. And then as we exhale, sweep both arms past your left hip, just as if you were clearing something away. Inhale, back to chair. Exhale, open arm twist to the right, Tadasana. Good. Inhale, back to chair. As you exhale, sweep your arms past your right hip. Good. Inhale, back to chair. And then exhale, Tadasana, open up to your left, open arm twist to the left. Fantastic. Inhale, back to your chair. And then exhale, forward fold. Flat back, inhale. And then step your both feet back into your plank pose. And then lower through your chaturanga or knees, chest, chin down. Totally, entirely your choice. Inhale into your heart opening pose. And then exhale into downward facing dog. Fantastic. Right leg reaches back and up as we inhale. Take a moment here to circle into that right foot. Maybe crunch your toes, point and flex your foot. Maybe you can allow that left heel to drop a little bit more down towards the mat as you lift the right leg up. And then for three times, right knee to the nose. So bring the right knee forward, shift your weight over the shoulders and then inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, three-legged dog. One more time, knee to the nose. Three-legged dog. And then look up in between your hands and step your right foot all the way through. Stay low. Just lift your torso a little bit off that right thigh and then release your hands back into your airplane lunge. Beautiful. Palms facing the body, fingertips actively reaching back. And then stay as low as you can with your torso and just inhale, reach your arms forward. And exhale, reach them back. Two more times. Inhale, reach the arms out. Exhale, bring them back. Good. Inhale, reach the arms forward. Hold here. And then lift your torso up into crescent pose. Use the strength of your legs. Push your feet away from each other. And then sink nice and low into your front hip. See if you can lift that left heel to stack over your left toes so you have that dynamic activity in the back left leg. Good. One more breath in here. And then open arm twist to the right. Left hand reaches forward, right hand reaches back. And then we just pause here and take an additional breath. Good. On your next inhale, circle the right arm forward, crescent pose facing straight out. And then exhale, both hands down to the ground, step your right foot back, and then your vinyasa of choice. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Down dog as you exhale. Beautiful. Let's go straight into the other side. Left leg reaches back and up. Take a moment to work into your left ankle. Maybe point and flex the foot. Little circular movements, crunching the toes. As you do so, drop the right heel as much as possible to the mat. Keep your arms nice and long. Keep the gaze back. One last breath in here. And then three times, curl the knee into the nose. One time, come forward, curl. Inhale, kick it back, three-legged dog. For two, come forward. Inhale, kick it back. Last time, come forward. Kick it back. And then look up and gently step your right foot all the way through in between the hands. Stay nice and low with your torso. And then just gently lift your torso diagonally up as you reach your hands back alongside your body, airplane arms. Fantastic. Nice and strong through the legs here. We inhale the arms, circle forward, and then we reach the hands back. For two more times, reach the arms out. Exhale, reach them back. Good. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, bring the arms back. This time, as you reach the arms forward, hold them to here. Just one more breath. And then push into your feet, lift up strong into your crescent pose. 
sit deep into your hips, adjust the back heel, maybe release the shoulders a little bit more away from the ears. Strong in your foundation, the lower body. We open arm twist to the left. Good, palms facing away from you here. Left hip is pulling back. The thighs are pulling towards each other. Good, let's see, maybe we can stack head, shoulders and hips. One last breath here. Circle that left arm forward, come back into your crescent pose. And exhale, find your vinyasa, step the left foot back. You can lower knees, chest, chin to the ground. Inhale for your cobra or up dog. And then back into your downward facing dog. Let's take about three breaths here in down dog, celebrating that we've completed the first step of our ladder. Our first sequence is done. We're gonna revisit all the poses we've done so far and then we'll keep adding on. <laughs> Let's take another breath in. And a full breath out. Look forward, bend your knees. Push your chest back and then take a hop or walk to the top of the mat. Flat back, inhale, lengthen. Exhale to fold. And then squat down into your chair pose. Drop the hips, raise the arms. Sit nice and low, Utkatasana. Good. Exhale, sweep the hands past the left hip. Inhale, bring both arms up. And then exhale, open arm twist, Tadasana to the right. Inhale, back to chair. Exhale, sweep the hands past your right hip. Inhale, chair. Open arm twist, exhale, Tadasana to the left. Good. Inhale, back to chair. And exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Flat back, inhale. Step walk or float your feet back to Chaturanga or lower knees, chest, chin down. Cobra, up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Inhale, right leg reaches back and up. This time, right knee, right elbow tap. Inhale, three-legged dog. Right knee, elbow tap for two. Three-legged dog, kick it back. Last time, elbow to knee, tap three. Three-legged dog. And then step your right foot all the way through. Come back into your airplane lunge. Reach the hands back. And again, for three times, we're going to circle those arms forward and back. For two, reach them out. Exhale, reach them back. Last time, reach the hands forward, hold here. And then lift up into your crescent, big breath in. Fantastic. As we exhale, open arm twist to the right. Now. From here, go ahead and turn your palms to face upwards. And again, we're gonna reach forward with that left hand leading and then back to center. Two more times. Reach forward with your left hand and back. Arms stay parallel to the mat. One more time, reach forward and then come back. And then from here, inhale, circle back into your crescent pose. And then as we exhale, Warrior two, turn the left heel down, come all the way into that nice strong warrior two. Arms reaching out the height of the shoulders, gaze out towards that right hand, sit nice and deep into the right knee. Knee pointing, same direction as your big toe. One more breath in here. And then for three times, we're gonna change warrior two to um, reversed triangle pose. So extend your right leg, Bring your left arm down the back of the left leg and reach your right arm up overhead. And then exhale back to warrior two. Good. Inhale, reverse your triangle. Exhale back to warrior two. One more time. Inhale, reverse your triangle. And exhale back to warrior two. Take a moment here, set up your gaze again. And then from here, we're gonna go into side angle, Parshva Konasana. You could come with the right elbow to the right knee and the left arm just reaching up. You could stay here. You can drop your right hand down inside or outside of that right foot and maybe reach your left arm all the way up overhead. Or if you want a little bit more, you could reach both arms parallel out, diagonally to the front, really pressing down into that left outer edge of the foot, keeping the right knee stacked over the right ankle. Three, two, 
one, wherever you are, inhale, reverse the warrior, keep that right knee nice and bent. And then exhale, windmill your hands down, find your vinyasa, step that right foot back, maybe lower knees, chest, chin, cobra, inhale. And then down dog, exhale, fantastic. Let's take a deep breath in through the nose. Stick your tongue out, open mouth, breath out. Awesome. Left leg reaches back and up. Three times, left knee taps the left elbow. Here we go. Tap it for one. Inhale, bring it back. Tap it for two. Bring it back. One more time, tap the left knee to the elbow. Inhale, kick it back. And then look forward, step the left foot up in between your hands. Stay nice and low, release your hands back, airplane lunge. Beautiful. Keep that right heel stacking over the right toes. Even if the legs become tired, see if you can keep that dynamic position for the back leg. Inhale, arms reach forward. Exhale, reach them back. Inhale, forward. Exhale, circle them back. One more time, inhale, reach, stay there. And on your next inhale, push up into your crescent pose, lift out of your hips, and exhale, open arm twist to the left. Good. Flip your palms, and then reach out with the right hand. Reach forward, come back, reach, and lift. One more time, reach, and lift. Stay here, see if you can pull that left hip back, squeeze the inner thighs together. One more breath in, and inhale back into your crescent pose, big breath in. As we exhale, open arms, warrior two, right heel comes down. We sit nice and low into our warrior two, taking that gaze out over the left hand. Shoulders are relaxed, but fingers are active. As we inhale, reverse the triangle, extend the left leg, right hand to the outer right knee, left arm up overhead. Good, inhale, exhale, sorry, back into warrior two. Inhale, reverse your trikonasana, and then exhale back to warrior two. One more of those, inhale, reverse, and exhale back to warrior two. Beautiful. Take a moment here, realign, and then think about the side angle variation that you want to attempt on this side. You could come back into this variation, maybe reaching both arms out, maybe dropping the fingertips in or outside of that left foot. Make sure wherever you are, the outer blade of that right foot is pushing firmly down and the right shoulder is dialing up towards the ceiling. If your arms are reaching forward diagonally, keep your ears between the biceps. Three, two, one, keep the left knee bent, reverse your warrior. Big opening for that left side body. And then exhale, windmill your hands down. Step your left foot back, find your flow. Beautiful, big deep inhale to the heart. Exhale takes you to downward facing dog. Let's take about three breaths here in downward facing dog, always taking the opportunity between the sequences to reclaim your, geth, your breath, <laughs> reclaim your focus, to just realign before we then jump back in to connecting breath and movement. Beautiful. Look forward, push back, and then jump or walk to the top of the mat. Flat back, inhale. Exhale to fold and round. Inhale, drop the hips, raise the arms, chair pose. Last round, exhale, sweep your hands past your hips on the left. Inhale, bring both arms up overhead. Exhale, sweep your hand, sorry, open arm twist to the right, almost forgot. Inhale, back to your chair pose. Sweep your arms past your right hip. And then inhale, back to chair. Push into your open arm twist, standing to the left. Good, inhale back to chair. And then exhale, forward fold. Flat back, inhale. Step or walk back, float back maybe even to chaturanga, knees, chest, chin, lower. 
Cobra, up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Inhale, right leg reaches back and up. This time, you may have guessed, we're going to cross the right knee to the left elbow for three. Bring it forward and then reach it back, three-legged dog. Bring the knee forward, inhale, exhale, kick it back. One more time, knee to left elbow, three-legged dog. And then step your right foot all the way up in between your hands. Release your hands back, find your airplane lunge. And here we go, arm sweeps for one and back. Arm sweep forward for two and back. Arm sweeps forward for three. Hold it here and then inhale, come up into your crescent pose. Take a moment here and then exhale, open arm twist to the right. Flip your palms up and then reach out with your left hand for one. Sway forward for two. Keep the right knee bent, sway forward for three. Come back up, maybe pause here, or drop your right hand onto the back of that left leg, and then reverse your twisted crescent pose here, reaching that left arm all the way up and overhead. Inhale for one, for two. Last round of breath, three. And slowly release back into your high lunge crescent pose. Both arms up overhead. Exhale, warrior two. Turn that left corner of the foot down. Gaze out over your right hand here. Sit nice and low into your right hip. Make sure your left edge of the foot, outer foot, is pressing down. And then reverse your triangle. Inhale, sweep the right arm up. Extend the right leg. Back to warrior two. Two more to go. Inhale, reverse that triangle. Back to warrior two. Inhale, reverse it again. Exhale, back to warrior two. Good. Align and then come into your Parshva Konasana. Maybe now, if you like, you could add a bind, taking that left arm around the lower back and then dropping that right arm underneath your right thigh. Maybe the hands can interlace behind your lower back. If they do, see if you can then begin to extend your elbows, pressing the knuckles to the right outer hip, and then rolling that left elbow all the way up towards the ceiling, keeping the right knee nicely bent. You can be in any of the previous variations in Parshva Konasana. Let's take one more breath here. Good. And if you're in the bind, slowly release. Come into your reverse warrior. Take a deep breath in. Open that right side, which we just compressed. And then windmill your hands down and pause in your lunge. Beautiful. Spin onto your back toes and step your left foot up about maybe two, three foot lengths so that you can come into pyramid pose, extending that right leg. Coming into your pyramid, your right foot points straight forward, the left foot slightly angles out towards the top front left corner. On an inhale, come up onto your fingertips, lengthen the spine. You can always use blocks here. And then exhale, see if you can round in, trying to connect the nose closer in towards that right knee, right shin. Taking a couple of breaths here, in and out of the nose. See if you can really press firmly through both big toes, pull the right hip back, gently press the left front side of the hip forward, shoulders away from the ears. Good, and then inhale, halfway lift. Stay on your left fingertips, coming into reversed triangles, so a revolved triangle. We're going to take that right arm and reach it all the way up towards the ceiling, coming into this beautiful deep twist here. You can take your gaze up towards the right hand if that feels good. And we're here for three. Keep pressing into that left heel and pull the right hip back. Heart reaches forward and out towards the right big toe. One more breath in, one more breath out. Awesome. Bring the right hand back down towards the floor and then let's lift the left leg up into warrior three preparation. 
So right leg is grounding down, left leg hovers parallel to the floor. And you can stay here. You could give a light bend in that right knee and maybe release your hands coming into a warrior three variation where your hands are at the heart, opened out, or maybe extended straight out in front of you. Wherever you are, see if you can continue to keep that left hip balanced at the height of the right. We're here for three and two and one. Bring your hands back together at prayer position at your heart and then prepare to come into half moon pose. So right fingertips drop down and then your left arm reaches up and we're going to open up through that front left side of the body here. Half moon pose. Beautiful. Ardha Chandrasana. If you fall out of it to see if you can come back in. Good. You can stay here if you want to go for a chapasana, bend the left knee and then just connect the top of your left foot with your left palm and roll that left hip open to the ceiling, roll that left shoulder back and behind. We're here for just two more rounds of breath. Wherever you are, see if you can continue to keep a lightness, a smile, maybe even on your face. One last breath. If you're in the bind, Chapasana, release gently and softly. And then let's come into Uttanasana, left hand down, right and left foot meeting next to each other. Fantastic. Little break for that right leg. Halfway lift, flat back. And then exhale, big toes connect. Squat down, back into your chair pose. From here, Let's see if we can come into chair twist on the left side. Right elbow connects to the outer left knee. Palms pressing against each other. You could make a fist. I'm doing a fist because my wrist is still a little bad. So from here, you can either make a fist and wrap your left hand around your hand or press the palms together and use that connection to really dial your left shoulder a little bit more up and back. Maybe the knees can stay next to each other. We're here for one more breath. Now you can stay here. You could also go ahead and maybe come down into a squat, staying in that twist, lifting the heels. Maybe now you would like to open up your arms or if you are ready to play around with side crow, this is a beautiful way of getting into side crow by putting both hands around next to your hip. So your left hip connects to the left elbow, your left knee connects to the right elbow, and then you begin to lean into your hands, maybe lifting both hands off, uh, both, both feet off the floor. If you're ready to play a little bit in an arm balance, do this, otherwise stay here or stay in your twisted chair. We're here for five, four, three. Nice, you guys, two. And one, we'll all meet back in our twisted chair. And then from here, let's step that right foot back. So gaze down towards your left big toe and slide that right foot long back coming into your twisted lunge. We have one last pose to go. We're coming into revolved half moon. So left arm reaches up, right fingertips down to the ground and then lift that right leg into your revolved Ada Chandrasana. Parivrita Ada Chandrasana, revolved half moon. Beautiful. Lift that right leg up as high as you can go. Squeeze the right leg towards the center. And then see if you can stack your left hand over the right. Become light on those right fingertips. Just take another breath in here and another breath out. And then drop your left fingertips down to the ground. Step your right foot long back, followed by the left. Find your vinyasa. Whew. Last sequence of our ladder. We just have to repeat it one more time on the other side. Let's come to downward facing dog at first. Take a full deep breath in here. And on your next inhale, raise the left leg back and up. For three times, left knee, right elbow, three, and two. One more time, knee to elbow, three-legged dog. 
and then step your left foot all the way up in between your hands, beginning slow, release your hands back into your airplane lunge. Shoulders away from the ears, right heel stacks over the toes, inhale, arms sweep forward. Exhale, hands back, good. Inhale, reach the arms out. Exhale, reach them back. Last time, arms reach forward. Hold here. And then push up into your high lunge. As we exhale, open arm twist to the left. Beautiful. Palms flip up. We reach with the right hand for one. Reach forward for two. Last time, reach it out. Come back up and then drop your left hand onto the back of that right thigh, reach your right arm up overhead, and then find your twisted, revolved crescent pose. See if you can maybe press your right thigh against that left hand, and reach the right fingertip a little bit more back. Last breath in. And then use your core muscles, release back into your crescent pose, both arms reaching forward. Exhale, open up, warrior two, spin to your right side. Fantastic. We're gonna go three times, reversing the triangle, back to warrior two. Extend the left arm and knee, and back to warrior two. One more time. Revolve, back to warrior two. Stay here, and then go ahead and find your version of side angle, Parshva Konasana. Maybe you can go ahead and come into your bind, taking that right hand around to the lower back, and then dropping your left hand around, maybe connecting the finger of your right hand. If you do, keep a beautiful bend in that left knee, and then begin to extend your knuckles away towards your heels, and or towards your right heel, and then roll that right shoulder up towards the ceiling. Beautiful, keep breathing here, three, two, and one. Release the bind and then slowly make your way into your reversed warrior. Big breath in here. And then exhale, windmill your hands down, find your lunge position, pause, spin onto your toes of the right foot, clear your mat of little stones that your dog just kicked all over. Here you go. And then from here, let's go ahead and step that right foot a little bit up, finding pyramid pose. Setting yourself up in that pyramid pose. As you arrive, press both big toes into the mat. Inhale, lift and lengthen your heart forward and out. And then exhale, rounding in, allowing for that beautiful deep stretch to happen in the back of the left leg. Left hip pulls a little bit more back as the left big toe grounds down. Take another breath in here. And then revolved trikonasana, so right hand stays where it is, and we lift the left arm all the way up towards the ceiling, leaning back into that right hand, into that right shoulder. See if you can pull the left hip back and lengthen your heart and spine forward and out. Breathing here for three, for two, and one. Left hand meets the right next to the front foot. And then we lift the right leg up, coming into our warrior three preparation pose. Maybe flexing into that right foot, dialing the right little toe down to the mat so that we can equalize the hips. You can stay here, you can bend the left knee, find a version that works for you in Virabhadrasana three, warrior three. Arms out at prayer pose or maybe reaching straight out for a little bit extra, extra work for the lower back. Good for that left leg. We're here for three, two, and one. Coming into our half moon pose, drop the left fingertips down and then open the right arm up towards the ceiling, stacking right hand over the left and then that right foot reaching back, almost kicking into an imaginary wall, lifting up, opening. Imagine you could lean into that imaginary wall behind you, trying to release the shoulder blades and the hips onto that wall. 
You can stay here or you could come into Chabasana by taking a bind with your right hand on top of that right foot, rolling the right shoulder even more up towards the ceiling or the sky in my case. One more breath here. And then slowly coming into Uttanasana, release the bind if you're in it. Right hand circles down, right foot meets the left. We take a halfway lift flat back and exhale to fold and inhale squatting back into your chair pose. Twisting chair to the right, hands together at prayer pose, lengthen the spine and then twist from that long spine, connecting left elbow to the right outer knee. Remember, you can stay here. You could come into that squat, maybe open up your arms, working into balance here. You could drop both hands down next to your right thigh and play with a little bit of side crow arm balancing wherever you are. See if you can do so with a little bit of fun. And take one more breath before we slowly begin to all meet in that twisted chair position. Fantastic. Balancing into that right foot, lift the left heel up and then step that left foot all the way back into your twisted lunge position. Take a last moment here to really roll that right shoulder back and around. And then from here, we want to come into our last pose, revolved half moon. Right arm reaches up, left fingertips down to the ground and then lift that left leg up, if possible, parallel to the mat. Again, finding this beautiful deep twist, breathing here, lifting the left leg up for three and two, and one right hand down, step that left foot long back and find your plank position. Pause in your plank. Uh oh, here we go. <laughs> Side plank to the right. I'm going to come onto my forearm. You can stay on your hand, lift your left arm up towards the ceiling, and then reach through with that left arm. Reach it underneath your right armpit, and then inhale, lift it up for two. Reach and through. Inhale to lift. One more time. Reach the right arm through. Inhale to lift. Maybe reach that left arm up overhead. Maybe you can lift your left foot. Breathe for three, four, two, and one. Beautiful. Come back into your plank pose. Take a moment, pause here. Maybe dropping the knees or maybe not. Let's set up for three push-ups. Here we go. Three, two, last one. And then let's flow through a vinyasa chaturanga or knees, chest, chin to the ground. Inhale to cobra or up dog. Down dog, exhale. Let's take a deep full breath in here. Step your feet up a little bit closer to the top, a little bit wider, maybe to the sides of your mat. And then take your right hand and reach it for the left ankle. See if you can peel your nose underneath that left armpit. Find a beautiful stretch, a little bit of a pull with your right hand on that left leg, wherever you connect so that you can get a nice, beautiful stretch in that top outer right shoulder. See if you can continue pushing your chest back, firmly press into that left hand. One last breath here. Good, and then release the right hand. Walk yourself back out into your plank pose. And then side plank to the left. Roll onto your outer left edge of the foot. Right arm reaches up. We reach the right arm underneath the left armpit for one. Inhale, open up, reach for two. One more to go, reach for three. Good, maybe stay here. Maybe reach that right arm up overhead for additional opening through the right side body. Maybe you lift that right leg for additional strength. 
three, push the hips up, two, one, and then come back into your plank pose. One more opportunity, three push-ups if you like. Here we go, lower down for one, lower down for two, lower down for three. Back into your plank pose. Last vinyasa for today. Give it your best. <laughs> Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, child. Oh, sorry, down dog. We're going to do that twist one more time. Open up the legs. And then this time, reach with your left hand for the right outer ankle or sole of the foot, wherever you connect. Keep pressing into that right hand. See if you can peel your nose up and under that right armpit. Really gently pulling your left hand on the back of your right leg, getting that beautiful stretch for the top back of your left shoulder. Last breath in, last breath out. And then from here, release. Now walk your feet back in together. This time we're gonna come into child's pose with the knees and the ankles connected, allowing for that beautiful rounding natural shape to unfold in the back body. Head down towards the floor, reach your hands back towards the feet. And then take about five breaths here in child's pose. Allow for the shoulders to hang heavy down to the floor. Allow for the breath to really travel each time deep up and down along the spine, each inhale, each exhale. Beautiful. Let's take two more breaths. Good. And then from here, let's come back up into tabletop pose. We're going to go into cow face pose, Gomukhasana. So easiest way for me to get in is to slide my right leg in front of the left so that the toes are pointing away from the knees. And then I'm going to sit back between my heels stacking my right knee on top of my left. See if you need to adjust anything. And then once you're set up, you want to make sure both your sit bones are grounded. You're not sitting on your heels. Reach both arms up overhead. And then keep your right arm up. Take your left hand and reach it around so that the top of the left hand connects between the shoulder blades. Elbow of the left arm is reaching down. And then take your right hand and maybe your fingertips can connect behind the shoulder blades. So your right elbow points up, the left elbow points down. Beautiful stretch for the outer hip as well as the shoulders. Maybe a gentle push of your head against that right forearm. You can stay upright if you can. Maybe lean out a little bit towards the front, engaging into that opening for the outer right hip a lot more. Gentle press of the outer edges of the feet into the mat helps you to keep the hips engaged in the right spot. We're here for just two more breaths. Awesome, slowly lift up. Gently turn to your left and then release that left arm. Reach both arms up overhead. And then take both hands behind you. Lean a little bit back, relax the feet. Maybe windshield wiper the knees, left to right. And then we're gonna come into the opposite leg on top. So you could do that seated if that helps. I really personally feel if I come forward, helps me to put that top leg a little bit more snug on top of the other, but entirely up to you how you want to get into the pose. And then again, make sure your sit bones are grounded on the mat. And this time, left arm reaches up, and then the left hand comes around behind, and then the right arm reaches with the top of the hand towards the shoulder blades. If you can, connect your fingertips here and then press your head gently against your left forearm, pressing into the outer edges of the feet, begin to lean forward and out. Breathing, more nourishing breaths again, refocusing, concentrating. Maybe your eyes are closed so that you can 
conserve about 30% of that energy and draw it within paying attention to what's happening within the body. Last breath in here, last breath out. Inhale, come all the way up, gentle twist to the right so that you can release that right arm, both arms up overhead. Lean back and extend both legs out long. Give the legs a little bit of a tap here. And then we're coming into seated forward fold, Paschimottanasana, lengthen the spine. And then as we exhale, lean forward and out, maybe reaching for your ankles, maybe reaching for the soles of the feet, and then coming deeper and deeper into your forward fold with each exhalation, allowing for that beautiful full body stretch on the posterior chain of your muscles from the heels all the way past to your hip, around the entire length of your back, all the way into your neck and the crown of the head. Breathing in and out of the nose here. Good. Let's do two more breaths. On an inhale, slowly roll yourself back up into an upright seat. And we're just going to do a seated twist from here. So bring your right sole of the foot around um, onto the inside of that right sorry, left sole of the foot to the inside of the right knee, and then hug your right elbow around that left knee. Left arm reaches up for a maximum length in your spine. And then sprinkle your fingertips around behind you, coming into your twist. You can stay here. You could also obviously go deeper by hooking that right elbow to the outer left knee. Maybe you can even come into a bind. Completely up to you how deep you wanna take your twist. We've been twisting quite a lot during the entire sequences we've done, so we're just going to he be here for one last breath in. And then we're going to gently counter twist over to the left and change sides, extend the left leg, bring the right sole of the foot in, hug your elbow around that right knee, and then reach your right arm up. Fingertips come all the way back and around behind you. Lengthening your spine, always coming into the twist from maximum length. And then just a few breaths here. Final twist before we lay down onto our backs. Take one last breath in. One last breath out here. Beautiful. Return your gaze back to the center. Make sure that when you recline onto your back, your head meets the mat, your feet are still on the mat. And then let's come into reclined butterfly position here so that we get a little bit of a touch up, a little brush onto that inner hip crease as well. Your right hand on your belly, left hand on your heart, and we'll finish with one pranayama exercise, samafriti, box breathing. Let's all get to the same starting position. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Open mouth, breath out. Breathe in for the nose, through the nose for one, two, three, four. Exhale out the nose, four, three, two, one. Inhale the nose, one, two, three, four. And then exhale out, five, four, Three, two, one. Inhale for one, two, three, four. And exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale for one, two, three, four. Exhale out, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Last round in for one, two, three, four, and out for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, 
two, one. Take a deep, full inhale through the nose. And an audible sigh out through your mouth as you exhale. You can stay in this position for the last few moments of our practice, or you could go ahead and release the legs out long, arms alongside your body, taking up as much space as you need for your Shavasana, allowing for a few moments of stillness, now transitioning back out of the yoga practice, allowing for the benefits of the practice to lay a groundwork for the rest of your day once you step off the mat. Finding Shavasana in silence for just the last few moments here. Let the next breath that you take in be a little bit deeper again, allowing for more time as you exhale, beginning with soft movements by turning your head from right to left, adding gentle movements through the fingers and the toes. And go ahead and reach your arms up overhead, point your toes, stretch your body out beautifully long. And then hug your knees into the chest. You can rock back up into your seat or you could roll to one side and then use your hands to push yourself back up into an upright seat of your choice. Take your time as you get there. Keep your eyes closed if possible just allowing for these last few moments of a bit more of an internal focus. Bring your hands together at your heart. Gently bow the chin to the chest in a gesture of gratitude, putting gratitude towards your body and gratitude towards the practice of yoga. And then raise your hands to your forehead as a reminder of having loving thoughts. Bring your hands to your lips being that a reminder to have compassion in your speech. And then take your hands back down by your heart as a reminder to have consistency of action in everything that you think, that you say, and that you do as you step off your mat and take that intention into the rest of your day. Thank you so much for practicing and I'll see you here next time. Namaste.